If I take a look at customers, uh, we've got some uh, sample data that I've pre-populated here. So we see Maria James, and, uh, and there she is. And then I've got uh, opportunity to replicate, and we've got a replicate task sitting here and waiting. So its source is going to be uh, MySQL. Um, I can double click on this task and this task definition and take a look at the endpoint. And we can see that, yep, the endpoint is successfully connected and its target is Azure Databricks. So this is my configuration information. We write into blob storage first, and then we've got connectivity over to, to Delta um, so that we can load that data out of um, leveraged uh, Databricks' ODBC driver. Okay. Um, and over here, I've got a token. I've got my HTTP path. and I've got my database name and my mount point. Okay. Um, and under advanced, um, I have, we're going to send this over as text and then uh, as a, a dot text file. Um, if I go back to my file attributes, we could probably send it over as text or sequence. Um, here's my file attributes. So how big is the file going to be before we send it over? Um, and then change processing. How often are we going to create that file to send over? And then if I need a proxy service to go through it, we support that. That's default. So as we're at the moment, I'm writing to a staging area and I'll show you how we move it into Delta. Correct. So there's two threads. There's one to the Azure Blob Storage, yeah. and then there is a secondary thread. Um, the ODBC access. And I'll show you what commands we issue under the cover. So okay. Um, okay. I can test that connection. Yeah. No worries. Good questions. So yep, that is all successful. Um, and then I've got uh, Compose. So Compose is where we've got our our metadata. We talked about our Northwind landing, and then here's Northwind Delta. Similar configuration information. And I can test that connection as well. And here, what's happening is we're going to use um, Spark SQL. Um, and then inside my project, I've got my uh, mappings. So if I pop into my uh, Northwind MySQL mapping, um, I can take a look at my mapping between source and target. So here's a categories. If I double click on it, data, and it will auto map for me. So here's a list of the mappings between the sources and targets. And then what it does, I can change this. I can add in new entities. I can add in new dimensions. Um, but it, it basically what Compose is doing is building my extract, load, and transform capabilities. And then if I come out of here and I say, take a look at my CDC component, my change data capture, and let's say, take a look at employees. And I say, look at task commands. Here's the SQL we're generating under the covers. So for example, if I do, uh, there. So if I turn around, this is our, our um, building our, our sequence and then building our um, partition information. And then basically when we write into the landing area, we're going to leverage the merge command um, from Delta. So I've got my application, um, my Northwind. So I click on customers. So as you can see, it says Maria James as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to compose and I'm going to pop over here, come out of this uh, definition component, go to monitor and say, let's run this, the uh, base replicate task. So we can control all of our workflow environments. So here we've got our workflow start, run this Northwind command uh, load sequence, which are both of these jobs, the uh, base MySQL full load command, as well as the Northwind MySQL CDC command. But before I do that, if we look at replicate, here's our designer um, environment and I've got my table list. And then if I look at monitor, so nothing is running at the moment. As you can see, updates are set to zero. Full load values are just are just sitting here. So let's run this task from Compose. So I could run Replicate on its own, uh, creating a base table and a set of change tables. So let me say uh, run this task. So what it should do is pop over to Replicate. And then if I uh, come over to my designer mode, we'll see this task is starting to run. Yeah. So it fired it up automatically and I've got loading and I've got completed. So we're sending that data over as we speak. Uh, SQL Workbench. So I'm going to use SQL Workbench and I'm going to use a JDBC driver, Simba driver to connect over to Delta. So I'm going to say OK. And I've got some commands here that we can we can take a look at. So this job is completed and it's running. And then if I pop over to Compose, it's saying, yep, it was 100 percent successful. We'll have our number of rows. Our job was successful. So I'm going to run, take it from the landing area and run this full load process. So if I, what it did was if I pop over to Databricks, hold on, where is it? Oh, under Workspace. I think it's here. Yeah. And then I've got uh, Mount Point. So I have a Mount Point defined to say here's where we're writing into Azure Blob. 
and then we mount that into Delta. So I'm writing to blob and then using this mount point in Delta, and that's how I've got the data available inside of my landing, right? So I've got my customer data. We'll see here yeah. that we've got Maria James. And then if I go to my operational data store and I go to customers, and now if I scroll down to the bottom, data written into Delta. The fun part though is that, so this is successfully run. I can take a look at the history and I can take a look at the details. Here's the list of all the tables. Um, here's the start time and end time that it, that it took. But the interesting part is let's change. Let's do a CDC change, right? When customers, and then I can go to Maria James and we can change her name to Maria Anders and hit save change and hit back. So now if I go to replicate, and then look at change processing. We've already picked that up. I've done two changes. So there's my update. And then if I pop over to compose, so it's it's moving that data right now. And I look at data and I go to the landing area and I go to customer CT, the change table. Here's where we've written that update. So I've done this demo a couple of times. So as you can see, I've got today's timestamp. And we've moved it from Maria Anders to Maria James. I'll pop over to monitor and the CDC component and say run. And what we'll see, progress not available, no, it's cool. And then what we'll see under details, we'll be seeing uh, stuff tables being skipped. So it's looking to say, okay, what changes have happened across all the tables? And if there's no changes in the CT table, they won't be applied. Um, done of the change table to the base table. So now I can basically use, you know, a tool set over here. It's a JDBC driver. So show me where, show me all the records inside of the operational data store for customers, uh, where those changes have happened. It takes a couple of seconds with Delta. So there we go. It's a quick demo.